So you are given this movie's data table and told to write a formula in this new column which says whether or not each movie is a Matrix movie. You decide to use wildcard characters, and to that I'd say, excellent idea, if you know what you're doing. So you write an if statement where the logical test is that the title is equal to Matrix with asterisks on either side. So these wildcard characters should allow us to pick up any instance where Matrix is found anywhere within the title text. If true, return yes. If false, return no. Hit enter and our formula copies down. But pretty quickly here, you can see that this is not picking up our Matrix movies. And the reason is because if statements don't support wildcard characters, at least in this format. So what do we do to solve this problem? That's the topic for today's video. Fortunately, there are two very easy ways to do this. First, uses wildcard characters. So let's write a count ifs, which does support wildcard characters. And for our criteria range, we're only going to select this one cell here in the adjacent title column. And by only selecting one cell for this range, we are essentially ensuring that the output of this formula is either a zero if the criteria is not met, or a one if it is. There are only two possibilities. So for our criteria, all inside of the quotation marks here, we want matrix with asterisks on either side. The asterisks are our wildcard characters. Now, if you want more detail and a better explanation on this, I have an entire video up on wildcard characters, so make sure you go watch that. So close parentheses, hit enter, and now we have a binary column here where the ones are yeses and the zeros are no. And you can see this is picking it up correctly. Now, if you want this in yes, no format, we can just go back and do our formula here and wrap this in an if statement. So if this equals one, then let's return yes. And then else, meaning no, because it's the only other possibility, let's return a no. And now this is in yes, no format. I've now cleared this column to go through the second way to do this, which is with either the search or the find function. Now the search function, which we're going to use first here, is case insensitive, just like count ifs, while the find function is case sensitive. So for our find text here, this is what we're looking for. So we're looking for matrix in quotation marks here. And this is case insensitive again, so any combination of upper or lower case here does not matter. And so we want to find matrix within our title. And let's just go ahead and close parentheses and hit enter and you can see the output of this function. So if matrix is not found within the title, then we get this error. And if it is, we get a number. And what that number refers to is if we go to our title here, is the index position of where matrix starts within the title. So one, two, three, four, and five is where matrix begins. Now for our purposes here, we don't really care where matrix is found within the title. We just care that it is or is not found within the title. So we can go back to our formula here and wrap this into an is number function. And what this is going to do is it's going to return true if the output of our search here is a number or false if it's not. So we have this nice true false format here. And if you want this in yes, no format, then again, we can wrap this in an if function. And our logical test is already done because this is already a true or false value for us. So then, if true, let's return yes, and if false, return no. And if we use the find function, we can very conveniently just swap out search for find because these two functions have the exact same syntax. But when we hit enter here, you can see we're getting all no's, and that's because find is again case sensitive. So if we look at our data, you can see matrix has a capital M in each instance here in the table. So we need to go back into our find text and create an exact match to that. So let's sub out our lowercase m for a capital M, hit enter, and now we get our correct output. So in general, I will use either is number search or count ifs with wildcard characters because case insensitivity is in general more flexible. But there are certain use cases where you're going to want to use find instead. And here's an example of that with this orders table. So within our order IDs here, these three characters in the middle represent the product being ordered. So I want to create that same type of true false column for our SPT product with this exact combination of case 
and you can see with the green and red order IDs, the case does matter here. So let's go ahead and write this formula. So is number, and then let's use the find function for case sensitivity. For our find text, I already have this cell filled in, so we can use a cell reference. Let's lock that cell so we can copy it down, and our within text will be the order ID. Double close parentheses, and there's our output. Now, revisiting our movies table, let's take a look at the real reason why you're creating this new column in the first place, which is to help you filter your data. So in this yellow column here, I want to write a filter function, and I want to filter my data down to only matrix movies. So my array is going to be the title and release year columns. And for include, I'm going to select the matrix movie column, and where that is equal to yes. If empty, I just select a blank string, close parentheses, hit enter, and we have successfully filtered our data. Now, you can write this filter function without the extra column, but you cannot use wildcard characters. So unfortunately, the filter function does not support wildcard characters. But we can do it with is number search or is number find. So we'll just have to rewrite this include part of the function. So include is number, I will use search. Our find text is matrix. And within text will be the entire title column. So now double close parentheses, hit enter, and we've achieved the same filter. So in general, if your criteria is very simple like this, I wouldn't say it really matters whether or not you use this extra column to help you filter, or you just put it directly into your filter function. But if your criteria gets more complicated, or you need to use wildcard characters for whatever reason, then definitely create this new column here, and that'll make your filter function a whole lot cleaner. So finally, let's take a look at a really cool and practical example of how we can use text searching to create a simple dynamic dashboard. So I've changed this column to movie series. So I basically want to parse out the movie series from our titles. So I'm going to use an ifs statement. And I'll use count ifs and wildcard characters to do this. So count ifs criteria range is just this title cell and our wildcard character. So the asterisk and I'll start with the Godfather. And if that is equal to one, then let's return Godfather. And I basically just have to copy paste this a couple times to add in the movies that I care about for this simple dashboard. So I also want to add Home Alone and Matrix. So let's change this to Home Alone and the output is Home Alone. Then lastly, same thing, conforming changes for the matrix movies. And the last thing I want to do here is I want to add essentially an else statement or something that is collectively exhaustive and accounts for all possibilities. So the way to do that is just switch this to a zero because that's the only other possibility for this count ifs. And in that case, I want to return other. So close parentheses, hit enter, and there is our column. And this cell here is a data validation dropdown list, which is chained to the unique values in that movie series column. So now we're ready to write our filter. So filter, our array is the title and release year columns. And I want to include all instances where the movie series column is equal to whatever we select in this data validation dropdown list. And for the filter function, I like to include just a empty string for if empty part here, just in case anything goes wrong, you don't have to see that error message. So now we are ready to test out our filter. So these are the Godfather movies. There are the Home Alone movies, the Matrix movies, and finally all of the other movies in our data set. So that is the end of the video today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because the channel is growing and I'm going to have a lot more of this content for you in the very near future. And as always, thanks for watching.